so, we all know Mount Vesuvius, one of the most life-threatening stratovolcanic eruptions on the planet. But, what if I haven't told you that there was another volcanic eruption just as threatening as this? Well, this is what would happen if a supervolcanic eruption happened again. In 1538, in Naples, Italy, everyone was just having their own time. Might have been a wedding, maybe. Let's just say that there was a wedding. I don't know, was it? Uh, you guys can let me know in the comments. Just Let's just pretend that there was. There was a wedding. I'm just pretending. I don't think there was, but I'm just pretending. So, yeah, you all can let me know in the comments if you want. There was a wedding. And when a couple was about to kiss, like farting on the toilet, Campe Flegri, a super volcano, erupted with a force unlike any Italians have ever seen. Not even Mount Vesuvius can compare to this eruption. That's because this one is on a level 8. If you guys haven't known that level 8 is the highest volcanic eruption explosivity I index on the scale. Even more higher than any other scale we know of. It even was e even higher than the largest volcanic eruption ever caught on tape. Anyways, so let's get back to it. None of the Italians have ever seen a super volcanic eruption like that. It was even more threatening than Mount Vesuvius. It completely destroyed parts that were really close with it, like Bat Bagnoli, Passo Vagilano, and Siglano. Siglano were completely buried beneath a full kilometer of all the molten rock. Meanwhile, spreading all the way on the other side of, the, of Europe, like Monaco, France, and England, they were also minding their own business. But ash clouds fell on top of their heads. They were all confused. But it was coming from the super volcano. They all thought that. Yes. Oh no, guys, I'll be back. Yes, what is it? Sorry about that, guys. Dad needed me to have a look at some photos of karate. Uh, if you haven't known, then I do, they do karate. Most of them thought that a severe thunderstorm was coming. Some even thought the apocalypse had begun. But s the news reporter said that a super volcano here completely erupted. Well, I don't know. There were, no, 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 no. There weren't news of the time. Uh, There were new papers. Yeah, newspapers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the ash cloud spread as far as Spain and the in Portugal, and also in the towns of Barcelona, Madrid, name more of them. It also spread it to some parts of Africa. Even the Sahara Desert got the coldest temperature yet. It got as low as fifteen negative fifteen degrees Celsius, which was as cold as the Toba super eruptions a decade long volcanic winter like that like thousands thousands of miles away from here but we're focusing on Europe Luxembourg had the had the sec it was had the second suffering because the first one occurred in 70, 75,000 BC when Toba erupted but when Camp Flegri erupted, Luxembourg was also completely, like, 
I would say destroy, but it's not really close over here. It's like, actually, um, it's a couple of kilometers away. So, raining ash fell on there. Meanwhile, in Greenland, it also was as cold as the minus 10 degrees. It spread it to Canada, USA, Mexico, even parts of South, South America was infected, including Antarctica, Africa, including Australia, which is like, like a really long way from, from there. Ash clouds spread it as far as Tasmania, Brisbane, Caboolture, and Gold Coast, including the New South Wales. Even the capital of, Amer of Australia got affected in the Australian Capital Territory. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then that's Canberra right there. And this is how the resurgence of some super volcanoes started. Well, Yellowstone is actually undergoing a resurgence. I haven't told you that in my super eruption video on the first one. Sorry if I haven't told you that, but yeah. it The entire planet, I would say, including Russia, got, got coupled with a decade-long winter during 1538. The last, the very last super volcanic eruption occurred this year. Well, I don't know, a couple of months ago? Mm, but there definitely wasn't a wedding, I don't think. I'm just pretending, guys. I'm just pretending. Who knows? Maybe there wasn't, there wasn't actually a wedding. Just, you know, pretending. And yeah. And as it snowed, some people thought it was a good idea to play, sno to have snowball fights. But they instantly got killed. I told you in the, in the last video that you could get yourself killed if you're not careful. So don't try snowball fights in, in a super volcanic eruption, everybody. Let's say if Yellowstone erupted this year. I know that wouldn't happen, but let's just say it erupted this year. Then ash clouds will fall onto us. Snow will be coming down. No one would even have a snowball fight. Because, no, 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 no one hates the winter. Some people do, but not everyone. Some people. But they, they don't hate it, though. It's because of the, of the ash, fall, and rain, and snow. And they, they could get the, themselves killed if, if they're not careful. Even I could get myself killed. I don't, I really love winter with snow coming down. Seeing children play snowball fights and do stuff like that. But in volcanic winters, don't do no, 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 don't do that because you could get yourself killed if you're not careful. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching the documentary of this life threatening super volcanic eruption that occurred in the 1500s. Make sure to smash that like button, comment down below what you want to see next, share this video with a friend or someone that you know. If you want to see more videos like this, then press the left and right boxes. Also, smash that subscribe button to see more videos in the future. <gasps> Hit that bell and turn notifications on so that you never miss another video like this. Anyways, that's the end of this super eruption video. Guys, I'll see you all in the next one.